Okay, today we're going to do a review of the Federal Syntec range ammunition, which Federal claims is a good option for shooting ranges because it results in less airborne lead due to the fact they have a synthetic coating over top of the bullet and a lead-free primer. Now, one of the other claims they make that is really the main purpose of this uh, exercise today is that it results in less fouling of the barrel when you shoot the gun. To do this demo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot 15 rounds of the Syntac uh, Federal Ammunition through one gun, and then I'm going to shoot 15 rounds of the Federal Range and Target through another gun. Now, the guns I'm using for this demonstration are the Springfield um, XD Mod 2 4-inch, that's what I'll be shooting the Syntac through. And then I'm gonna be using the new the Smith & Wesson Mod 2.0, the new gun that was just released from Smith & Wesson in its full size variation. Both guns have had the barrels totally cleaned. The whole gun's been cleaned, but the barrels are particularly clean so that after we're done, we're gonna swab the barrels to see if there's noticeable difference between the residue in each of the guns. We will also make note of the accuracy of the different types of ammunition as we go through this exercise. First thing I'm going to do is shoot the Syntac um, range ammunition. Now what I'm going to do is shoot the Federal Range and Target ammunition through the Smith & Wesson 2.0. Okay, now here's the real test. It's gonna come down to how much residue is in the respective barrels. So I'm gonna first of all take apart the Springfield and swab its barrel. To be consistent in the way we do this, I'm gonna use a new patch dipped in um, gun slick cleaning solvent, and I'm gonna run it through the barrel once and then back through the barrel, and we'll see how much residue is left on it. Okay, this is what we got out of the initial swabbing of the Springfield barrel with the Syntac ammunition. Okay. But it's not unusual. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the Smith & Wesson barrel using the same procedure. I wet the patch in the gun slick. I'm gonna run it through once and run it back out where I put it in through. And preliminary indications are that it does appear to be a little bit dirtier and I'm gonna compare the two for you. Again, here's the regular range and target here in my right hand, and here's the Syntac patch in my left hand. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run one more patch, a dry patch through each one to see if there's any noticeable difference. First, the Springfield with the Syntac. Not a whole lot of residue. Now the Smith & Wesson with the federal range and target. Here again, not a whole lot of residue. Now my conclusion is this. I think it's a good sales pitch on the part of federal to promote the Syntec ammo as reducing less fouling, but all of you know that the amount of fouling in the barrel um, when you shoot any number of rounds for the most part is negligible. The, the dirty aspects of the gun that cause the most problems are the loading ramp and then the rest of the internals of, gun, of the gun and the slide itself where all of the contaminants get into and around. The barrel generally isn't a problem. So personally, I think they've got a decent product. I'm very impressed with its quality. 
I've shot several boxes now, and we're going to bring in the targets here in just a minute so you can see that it's a pretty accurate shooting ammo. But their claim that results in substantially less uh, fouling of the barrel, at least in this preliminary uh, study that we've done here, is not really that accurate. Now I just want to show you a little bit, uh, uh, show you the target so you can see how accurately uh, the rounds fire. And again, I was shooting at 15 feet. I wasn't using any precision shooting technique. I was just shooting at a moderate pace just to see how the ammunition cycled through the gun and how it handled. Targets one, targets two, and the top triangle were the Syntac rounds. You can see, for all intents and purposes, golf ball size groups, a um, little bit bigger over here, but again, I was shooting a little faster, not trying to be as precise because I wanted to see if there were any issues with the way the ammunition was going to uh, cycle through the gun. Um, number three, number four, and the top square here were with the Federal Range and Target, which is a very good ammunition. It's the ammunition that we sell 10 to 1 over anything else. Uh, very reliable, been very uh, good for us. Uh, over the years, and um, I didn't see much difference there. And again, this is limited test. You're talking 15 rounds. However, I've shot now about 150 rounds of the Syntec. I've not had any malfunctions. I've shot it through a variety of different guns in our range gun program and my personal competitive uh, shooting gun, and I find it to be uh, very good ammunition as far as reliability and accuracy. I'm not too concerned about the issue of cleanliness, and I don't know that that's the big sale point. The big sale point is it has a lead-free primer and a totally encapsulated bullet, which makes it great for downrange exercises where there are additional contaminants. With a totally encapsulated bullet and lead-free primer, you can do a lot more downrange training and competitive activities without exposing staff and or shooters to continue hazards of increased lead exposure. So I think from that standpoint, it's going to be a very viable alternative to the other uh, lead-free ammo that's on the market. And it may be even better because their price point appears to be real good. A matter of fact, we're going to have a representative um, here at the range on March 25th. Uh, and he may stay all day. It's just going to depend on how much uh, interest there is where we're going to let people come in, shoot some of that and uh, you're going to get an opportunity to try some of the rental guns that we have in stock. So make sure you check out our website and um, be sure to mark down the date, March 25th, which is a Saturday, where you come here to the range beginning in the morning at 9 o'clock and going as long as people are interested. You'll have a chance to shoot this ammo. They're going to provide ammo for free. You're just going to have to pay for rental guns if you want to rent one of a number of guns, whatever the case might be, and you can try some new guns in addition to some of their new ammo. So mark the date, March 25th, uh, here at Sim Trainer, Saturday beginning at 9 o'clock. You can try it out for yourself and to see if it's something that will meet some of your training or shooting needs.